This video is for the Parker University Animal Chiropractic class. My name is Jesse Green and we're going to cover the topics of ethics and legal considerations. First, let me congratulate you on taking the animal chiropractic class. For the veterinarians who are seeking to learn new types of therapies to uh, provide better service to their animals, and for the chiropractors who are looking for the opportunity uh, to help animals as well as humans. Uh, first thing you need to know about me is, as you can tell by the initials after my name, uh, I'm an attorney. I'm neither a chiropractor nor a veterinarian. Uh, however, I'm familiar with chiropractic and with animal chiropractic. Uh, I've practiced law in Dallas County or Dallas area since 1986. Uh, Parker University has been one of my clients for majority of that time. So I'm familiar with chiropractic and I've also become familiar with animal chiropractic and I've represented a number of chiropractors and animal chiropractors over the years. Keep in mind as we go through this class that it's designed for both chiropractors and veterinarians. Sometimes I will cover something that seems very obvious to you from your professional background, but remember that it may not be so obvious to other people with other different with different professional backgrounds. Also keep in mind that this class includes students who are recent graduates or soon to be graduates of uh, Parker University, as well as veterinarians and chiropractors who have been practicing for an extended period of time. As a result, I've got to cover things on a, on a, in a way that's understandable to somebody with very little experience and hopefully also useful to somebody who has a great deal of experience. The five basic topics we're going to cover in these videos are first, ethics. How do you decide what is the right thing to do and what is the right thing to do? And what are the rules that help you decide? We'll talk about licensing, which is probably one of the more important topics that we'll talk about. It is critical that you comply with the state rules about providing care to animals. We'll also talk about informed consent. Since animal chiropractic is generally considered to be an alternative therapy, uh, you need to be a little more careful about getting informed consent than in other situations. We'll also talk about malpractice claims. Uh, the good news for the chiropractors in the class is that the damages in veterinary malpractice, particularly with small animals like cats and dogs, are very, very low compared to the damages that might be incurred uh, treating human patients. Uh, lastly, we'll talk about record keeping and some of the rules that you need to follow. Following those rules can be very important uh, to protecting yourself and to providing good quality care and to providing good communication between the chiropractors and veterinarians working together to treat the animals. The video has been broken down. It covers about three hours and it's been broken down into 14 sections. Now the length of the sections varies somewhat depending on the topic. Uh, this video, of course, is the overview. Uh, the next video, we'll talk about ethics. In third and fourth and fifth videos, we'll talk about the licensing rules and the supervision required by those rules. In the sixth video, we'll talk about informed consent. And while we're talking about communication, we'll talk in the seventh video about responding to errors. Uh, what do you do if something goes wrong? And in the eighth video, we'll talk about advertising, which is a particularly difficult issue for chiropractors who are animal chiropractors. The uh, ninth and 10th lectures or videos, will talk about malpractice and the damages in veterinary malpractice cases. Uh, the 11th video deals with some rules that apply to livestock shows in Texas that may help protect you from liability. And then in the 12th, 13th, and 14th videos, we'll talk about record keeping and some of the rules that you should follow in connection with your record keeping. So with that, we'll move on to the next video.